in Liberia just because I love Liberia. This is the most interesting country I've ever been to. So much history in here. Okay. I feel like buying this Mercedes for someone. You know what? This Mercedes got history. I don't even know the name of this one, but it's also got a history. But I have someone here who is going to explain to us everything that we need to know about these three cars we see in here. My brother, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to talk to you. you what is your name? I'm Ibrahim. Ibrahim. Ibrahim, these are three beautiful cars which are still here. Why are they parked in here? They don't use it anymore? They are not being used anymore. They are here for historic purpose. Okay. Yeah. So we will begin talking about this first car. Okay. This is a limousine. And this limousine was used by two of our past president, both the 18th president and the 19th president. Now the 18th president was William V. S. Totman. Now Totman has been the longest serving president ever in our history. And we refer to him in history as the father of modern Liberia because there were a lot of economic growth during his administration. He served 27 years upon his death in 1971. That's how the 19th president took over because as per our constitution, once the president died, automatically the vice president take charge. Wow. So all of those logistics that be once belonged to the president, it passed off to the vice. That's how William Arrow Talbert also took over as president and he started using this car. Before he went to election, and he was also using this car wow. after his election. Wow. And the story goes he served nine years. After the nine years, the first native who ever served as president was Samuel Kion Dole. Dole was the native from the Crown ethnic group who staged a military coup d'etat against the 19th president who was William Ara Torbert. And right here we also have dual car that we will go to and you'll see, we'll talk about it. This is interesting. That, that yeah, is how the car to. looks amazing, yeah? It can open. It can open? It has a... Oh, wow. Okay. So here is also a black limousine car that was used by Dole. So like we talked there about the 18th and the 19th president, Dole came into power after the assassinations of Torbert, that is William Arrow Torbert, the president who took over after Totman's death. So when Dole came as a first indigenous president, he thought to use this car. Basically, these are all limousines, but there are different classes because those days, the 80s, the 90s, limousines was like the, just like we have today, our luxurious car around range rivers today. Those days, limousine was some of those leading cars that president would choose to use. So as you can see in the car, it's well designed. Wow. It's beautiful, ain't it? Yeah. For though he had her whole crew, so all of them used to sit in his car. It's not like Taylor car where we will go and see one seat. Taylor was a high security minded person. Wow. Doha, his whole coup, and these are the coup, coup that he collected to stage the coup against the president. Like he had Thomas Kuyongba, he had Wesin. These are guys that were close to him. So whenever they are going on mission, they always sit right in the car and they move about. But, uh, is, that, is that black? Or oh, is this the red color that's coming out? It's the color. It's the color. Yeah. Oh, okay. So now we're going to talk about President Charles Taylor. Charles Taylor once worked in Samin Do government. Like we yeah. talked about, Charles Taylor was he was the minister at GAC. Okay. Now, it was a point where Charles Taylor was sent with some money to go and get logistics for the country. And he embezzled the money. <laughs> In another word, he took the money for his own use or stuff like that. So that's how he was collected by the U.S. government and put in jail. But he was so kind of a high-headed. High so there was a point where 
those started going against the mandate and the regulations of the Americans. And of course, by history, we say Liberia was colonized by the Americans. So we expect that this is their colony. So um, most of the time, as a president, you have to proceed with some of those advices that they give. So if you go against those advices, that means they will try to do something. So that's how Taylor was hired by the American government to come and overthrow Samuel Doe. And that tax, it was a kind of a high tax because at that time, it was a serious time in Liberia where people were in a civil crisis. So when Taylor came, he thought to use limousine, the same limousine, G-Class, but a bulletproof car. And coming on such a mission after being trained for a long time as a guerrilla fighter, he chose to keep tight to his security functions. So he ordered this car, and he, was, he asked them to make him a single seat in the car. Wow. Like you see, Charles sat in the seat, and he had his radio and all our communication cable devices all around him Everything. that he could communicate, he along with his driver. So he was not a kind of a president that would go on mission with a whole lot of people. No. He believed highly in security. Wow. It it's looks beautiful in there. So I, I, I'm like, oh my goodness, what? Oh, you're holding it. <laughs> I was thinking that I was not too strong to close the door. The Moby's eyes is, is, is heavy. This it's door heavy. is very yeah, heavy. Very so you could try again nah. to pull it. Oh, okay. I can't believe that I'm closing the door. Stella. Yeah. That's amazing, man. So I want to say thank you so much for taking us around. Thank and you. Really appreciate your time. Thanks for educating us. It's and, a great pleasure. Um, we'll see you next time. I hope to see you. Thank you.